I don't have enough space for this. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Roger that. We'll be waiting.
Sweet, bruh. Awesome. Let it be known that we will not tolerate raiders in Marshall. Attacks on fellow survivors will be answered harshly. Revenge killings are not an excuse. Dispensation of justice is a police matter, and we will not condone vigilance. Things are getting pretty hairy out there. Do what you can. stuff to take care of out there. You may need to hurry. How's it going? I'm almost there. We'll crack open a cold one for you. Found this while I was out. My hero.
I need a breather. Better look around some more. We've got this place locked down. Better look around some more. Quiet here. Damn, I'm tired. Ugh! <laughs> 
God damn it, Charlie Actual, these people are gonna- So we still got some stuff to take care of out there. Do what you can. Area secure. No Zeds here. Sounds like the situation out there has changed. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll see you soon. There's some trouble we might want to look into.
goddamn it, Charlie Actual, these people are gonna die without help. Uh, negative, Charlie Six. Hold position. Found this while I was out. Hmm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. Go you look like you need to blow off a little steam. Come on. Sure. Tensions are running pretty high these days, huh? Seems that way. Some folks are kind of worried about Okay. Now we're going to kill some zombies I'm the old fine, fashioned all right? way. Looks like trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. Guess I'll follow you. Let's do this thing, bruh! Anyway, I wanted you to know that I understand your frustrations. Well, excuse me for being a little stressed out over the end of the world. You don't get special treatment just because you're pissed off. Don't act like the enemy, or I'll treat you like one. Okay, we're done. I'm going home. I appreciate your concern. It means a lot to me. Good. All due respect, Your Honor, we're stretched too thin as it is. You got half my guys guarding the dispensary instead of out there pushing these things back. I understand the difficulty, Sheriff, but I don't know what you expect me to do about it. We only have so many trained officers left, and I'm not comfortable with the prospect of arming civilians for this kind of work. If you'd let me start training them, I... We'll discuss this later, Sheriff. We have a visitor. Welcome. I suppose you've heard our broadcasts? Well, it's all true. We have a safe, secure society here, governed by the rule of law. Walk with me. I'll explain. You have a society? I'm sorry. What exactly happened in the United States when I wasn't looking? Look around. 
We're facing a disaster of unprecedented scale. We have no way of knowing how widespread it is, or how long it will take federal authorities to respond. Until they do, we have to look out for ourselves. It may not be the most constitutionally traditional succession, but it's all we have. All we have? The armies camp just across the river. Yes, and other than vaguely threatening radio broadcasts, they've made no attempt to contact us or provide relief efforts to the civilian government. Meanwhile, ordinary citizens like yourselves are living in fear. Fear of the dead. Fear of the criminal element that sees this as an opportunity to prey on their fellow man. Fear of the uncertain future of our nation. But it doesn't have to be that way. And, of course, all firearms will be surrendered. Only duly appointed law enforcement officers are allowed to go armed. Right. Well, thanks for the offer. But we're doing just fine on our own. And I'm damn sure not surrendering my guns when the streets are full of flesh-eating dead people. I'm very sorry to hear that. We'd certainly prefer it if people joined us freely, before the issue has to be forced. Is that a threat? Just a reminder that the Wild West doesn't last forever. Don't take it personal. She's under a lot of strain. We're penned in pretty good by these things, and like you might have heard, we're short-handed. Tell you what, help me clear some of these problem areas out and I'll vouch for you. Put in a good word, maybe set up some kind of trade arrangement. Maybe later. I'm on. Hope you're geared up. We've got a few infestations to deal with. I hate to see the old girl like this. Wait, what? The town. Yeah. It's been on rough times for a while now. But it used to be a damn fine place to live. Raise a family. Whatever you say. Of course, my wife didn't agree, but... Never you mind. What happened? Well, she married a machinist. Didn't like it when I became a cop instead. She finally had enough a few years back. Took our son to live in the city. That it would be a more enriching environment for him. I'm sorry. Not your fault. I just hope things there aren't as bad as they are here. That should do it. About time things started looking. Heads up. We got zombies coming in. It's a 
start. Lead the way. Let's do this thing, bro. You think it's bad now? You should have seen Marshall in the first couple of days. Seemed like half the town was already dead or dying. The other half was trying to cram into the courthouse for protection. Mayor Carson had got himself shot from the cross the bridge. Mayday, Mayday! Is anyone reading? We're trapped. Lots of zombies outside, and we're out of ammo. Don't know how long we can hold out. Sit tight. Help's on the way. Come on. We can deal with the rest of these infestations later. We gotta help those people first. 